What's up agents and welcome back to another division build video. Today we're going to take a look at the pestilence because it can do some really really hard hitting tick damage. So even if you can't shoot the enemies if you've got the debuff on they will likely die in cover with this build. It hits that hard. We're talking 1.5 million a tick. But before we get started be sure to hit subscribe here on the channel it really does help out. Give this video a thumbs up Hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more Division videos. Or even better, come on over to Twitch and hit follow. I could be streaming live right now. If you just want me to show you that in the in the range right now, you can see on an invulnerable elite and we're in the heroic range. And we'll just build our stacks up. And we'll just let it tick. One, five, oh, five, eight, two, three. Just ticking away Why I'm in cover. Not doing a thing. Absolutely crazy. Now, this might not be the most optimal of builds. I'm going to tell you that straight away. But for tick damage, it is certainly the hardest hitting I think you are going to get. And here is the build. We're not using anything particularly new apart from two piece Heartbreaker, uh, which essentially, if you didn't know, what we need to try and do is buff your LMG damage to the absolute max. So that's what you're looking at trying to do the higher you want that tick damage to be. We're running Gunner. We've got the LMG uh, specced out in there, so don't forget to do that. You want that 15% extra damage. You can run whatever you want as your secondary. I've just slapped my Kingbreaker on here. It's missing a mod, but we'll put that in there now. And then the D50. Again, anything you want. I don't use these guns at all unless I really, really need to. So let's look at the star of the show. So this Pestilence, I've got no expertise bonus on, so obviously I could go up 20% more. So 117k at the moment. It's maxed out, really nice. Damage to armor, damage to target, out of cover. Absolutely perfect. All the stats that you want. Hit supply, a debuff, dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. Whenever an enemy dies with this debuff, all stacks are transferred to an nearby enemy within 25 meters which means especially in countdown you can keep this going for ages if any of the enemies are close by and there's a lot together in countdown especially at the end sections this can just keep going on and on and on which makes it really insane and i know that this might be better with negotiators dilemma but the tick damage will be less so this builds all about how big the tick damage is going to be. I'm certainly going to try out Negotiator's Dilemma. Now I've been sleeping on this all along. So previously we couldn't get the two-piece bonus from Heartbreaker, which gives us an extra 15% LMG damage, which now makes this tick damage even higher. And what you can see I've done here, I've rolled to weapon damage, crit chance, and crit chance. Because although I'm aiming to get my weapon damage as high as I can, we also want our crit chance at 60%, so that our gun is doing a lot of damage as well. And you can see on the second one here, weapon damage, crit hit damage. Now, I'm actually short a few percent. I've been dead unlucky. I can't get a holster with crit chance on. So the second I've got a holster with crit chance on, that will be going in this slot. Then we're going to use the sacrifice because glass cannon gives us 30% extra amplified damage. Crit damage, crit chance, and crit chance in the mod slot. And you might be asking, why tickle? Come on, just use heartbreaker. Well, I'll show you the effects of that as well in just a moment. Contractor's Gloves, LMG damage, damage to armor, critical hit chance. A Walker Harris backpack for 5% weapon damage, weapon damage, crit hit chance, crit hit chance, crit hit chance, and then 25% extra from Vigilance. Then we're using the Sawyer's knee pads, and these are actually better than Fox's Prayer for this example. Uh, because it increases total weapon damage by 3% each second you are not moving. Stacks up to 10 until you start moving and all stacks are lost 10 seconds after. So you can move around a bit. You've just got to be adjust your gameplay. Uh, you know, stay still while you're firing, build some stacks up, and then you've got 10 seconds of that damage while you're moving as well. So you have to go adjust your gameplay a little bit. I'm using the Defender Drone to try and help keep Vigilance up as much as possible because obviously we can't use a, so uh, a shield, a sword. What game am I playing? And I've got the hive for just get out of shit situations to revive myself when I need to. Take a look at the stats. As you can see, 
I'm just short of the 60%. Like I said, I want the holster to get crit chance on, and then I'll be even better. Uh, so at the moment, my gun hits a little bit harder, but my DPS will be down in general. But this was really all about that tick damage. And as you can see, I'll just build it up again. And then watch it tick away. There we are, 1505, 823. Really, really nice. Now, I'm going to show some demos at the end. Uh, I'll show some in Countdown and I'll show some at Lincoln just so you get an idea of what this is like in Countdown if you've got a damage buff in Countdown. So take, I've not done the demo yet, so take a note of what damage buffs I might have. If you're not sure how Countdown does work with damage buffs, please do check out my previous video. Uh, but I'll show that at the end. Uh, but yeah, really, really good. And I'm going to put the negotiators version together. So if you've got any recommendations for that, do put it in the comments down below. I've not done that video yet. Uh, but I do look forward to doing that with as much tick damage that will sure out as uh, as I possibly can get. But that is it for the build. Uh, the tick damage is insane. Absolutely insane. I had a lot of fun in Countdown with this last night, which is why I made a video of it. Let me know if you have been running the Pestilence and what builds you guys have been doing. Uh, but let's just quickly, before we finish off, I'll just show you. I've got one with, uh, that's got, da it's got headshot damage on. I've got one with chance. There we go. So we'll... We're not too bothered actually about uh, the actual gun damage at this point, just for testing. So we'll see what the the heartbreaker buff does for us. So you can see it building up. I we'll just used the shotgun, but I started to all finish. So I'm just so there you go. I'm just about hitting the same damage now with my gun as I was. I'm getting more gun damage now. I was only doing about 700k gun damage before previously. I'm getting mills now and the tick is just shy of 900k. Uh, but you've got the bonus armor as well. So that's up to you how you run that. If you want to be building your stacks. And you want to be doing it that way around, by all means you can't. Or if you want your stacks to be doing more damage, it's going to be this way around. If you want to see very quickly as well while we're here, how Foxes does. Because obviously that has damage to target out of cover. It doesn't affect it. So your gun will hit for more. As you can see, there we go, gun sitting for a little bit more. Especially when, only when it's the armoured version of the target. Uh, and the health, sorry, it's damage target out of cover. So we'll hit for a little bit harder, but the tick damage there you go, we've lost a, around 130, 120 on the uh, the tick damage. So it just depends if you want your gun to do more damage or if you want your ticks to do more damage. Uh, you can absolutely play around with this and find your perfect combination. But I'll give it a go with negotiators next, so look forward to that video. Be sure to subscribe and Come on over to Twitch and follow me over there as well. I could be streaming live right now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the footage and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.
there so we can bring in the engineer. Protect the engineer. Detected. Rogue incinerator turret detected. Rogue sniper turret detected.
Agent, you're in. I need you to fix that cooling tower.
is in position. forces. If they maintain its outpost, two sons will be a direct threat to the campus.
Is the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter? those mortars.
remember to take a position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, he dealt a great blow to the Tucson's infrastructure. He confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated a stronghold near the campus.